The sheriff of a county in Ohio recently asked his followers on Facebook to keep a log of the addresses of people who might support Kamala Harris. This is Sheriff Bruce Zukowski who took office back in 2021. So he made the remarks in Facebook posts across two different accounts on the night of September 13th. Here's one. So when people ask me dot dot dot, what's gonna happen if the flip flopping laughing hyena wins? Question mark, question mark. Oof. I say dot dot dot. Write that man, this guy is a Facebook dad. Write down all the addresses of the people who had her signs in their yards. So when the illegal human locust singular, which she supports, need places to live, we'll already have the addresses of the their new families who supported their arrival. Oh this person appears to be in the middle of some sort of nervous breakdown or something as they're typing this, but you get the idea. We're gonna take migrants and we're gonna force them on these people because they supported Kamala Harris. And this is a sheriff, I'll remind you, this is not just a random person, it's a random person, but a random sheriff person. And so um, local news reached out to the sheriff's office for comment, but did not receive a response back. That's fine, even if they had, it would have been illegible. But um, Donald Trump won the county in 2020. But recent election data suggests that there are tens of thousands of likely Harris voters living there. And so, you know, maybe be a little bit worried about the sheriff inspiring people to stalk you or profile your political activity. Here's one more post, by the way. Wow, hard to believe all during the DNC. There's pictures of Fox News. He screenshots Fox News and then puts it in post. With his camera, it looks like he's taking that photo with his camera. It does look he, like he maybe took a phone shot of a TV screen and talks about the burning of the American flag. Officer, police officers put in harm's way. So good, we found a situation in which they think it's wrong to harm police officers. January 6th is okay, that's exempt. Also, there were abortions and that's bad. So I don't know. It's a sheriff, there's supposed to be someone you can trust to do the right thing when it comes to public safety, regardless of politics. But if I lived in that area, I wouldn't feel comfortable. What about you? Yeah, I mean, look, it's really terrifying to know that your aunt or uncle, your friend or your cousin or somebody is, you know, sucking down Fox News hook, line and sinker and not questioning it and believes that, you know, Springfield is full of people eating cats and dogs. Um, it's another thing when a sheriff is mainlining Fox News and believes everything that is told. Because again, it's not just the Laura Loomers online, but Fox News has to keep up. I mean, within reason, so long as they don't get sued by Dominion voting, but they have to keep up with mm. their own conspiracies, right? They have to make you believe that the Democrats are the ones who are violent and crazy. I mean, all of this is paving the way for a neo-fascistic uh, Trumpian regime to come back into office or somebody else. And then the political violence is super justified. Haven't you been watching all of our inflamed and ridiculous coverage? So I guess my what I'm trying to say is it makes sense that this sheriff thinks these things because of what he's consuming. The problem is he has a responsibility he's supposed to protect and serve all people, not just Republicans. And there he is calling for databases for people to snitch on their neighbors if they are found to have been voting Democrat. John, in all of the years that we have been fighting against the Trump administration, against his policies, against the violence that he stirs within the movement, against the right, have we ever said, you know what would would be really important is to just like keep a log of the people who voted Republican, you know, and um, pass that along to local law enforcement. That'd be no, we've no. never done that because everyone is entitled to their vote and to also their privacy and to their protection. We've ne that is not a winning strategy, not a winning strategy by any stretch of the imagination, unless you want to actually persecute people for their political beliefs. So again, every accusation is a confession. Look at this yeah. guy. Yeah, and by the way, if uh, if it is important to you, if it is core to your political identity to inspire fear in those around you, uh, don't run for sheriff. You don't have to be a sheriff, actually. You can just be a crazy guy who can barely type on Facebook. You can be that, that can be who you are. But if you wanna be a sheriff, we get to have expectations of who you are and how you communicate around the people who you're supposed to be serving. <laughs> 
Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the join button to become a member today.